What's up guys, we're back with another episode of Million Dollar Builds. Check it out. We got progress today. We got some drywall going in. We got all the rough in trades done. We got insulation in. Uh, and we got some footage from earlier in the week so we can actually show you guys what it looked like inside the house before we got the insulation done so you can kind of see all the rough trades. But uh, as you can see, they got the crane going. They worked with a little joystick. It's kind of cool. It's like driving a remote control car, except they're dropping drywall off. We also pulled a window up top, you'll see up there. When we stock drywall, which is what it's called, the windows aren't big enough to get the drywall in upstairs, and the guys don't want to move it up the stairs. So what we have to do is pop a window off, so that then the guy with his little gizmo can raise it up and put it straight in the second floor. So that's kind of what we got going on today. So let's go inside, take a look, and I'll show you guys progress. All right guys, we're inside. As you can see, insulation's in, which means all our rough-in stuff is in. And so when I say rough-in, I mean electrical, plumbing, HVAC, and then if you span over here, you can see VAC, which is basically uh, short for vacuum flow. So we put vacuum flow in all our houses, which is basically a, a vacuum where the hose comes out of the wall, and then when you're done, you just put your hand on the end of it, sucks it back in the wall. It's kind of a cool thing, that way you're not hauling a vacuum around everywhere. So we put vacuum flow in all our houses. But you can also see, we taped the windows here. And I'll show you the door. We did the Marvin Integrity windows, which are very nice windows. But we did them white on the outside, and we did a pre-painted black on the inside, because that's the design we're going for. A lot of times people will do black on the outside, white on the inside. But the reason why we did that is because now we don't have to have our painter paint the windows because that's a very tedious and expensive process. So we bought the windows pre-painted black on the inside and then white on the outside so it matches our design. But we then have to cover them up because through the drywall, trim, everything else process before we get to finish, it leaves the windows open to being nicked, dinged, scratched, whatever, and since they're pre-painted, it makes it difficult to touch them up. And so that's why we've got the plastic up everywhere to kind of protect the windows because they're expensive windows, and we got them pre-painted on the inside. So, as you can see, we're at insulation right now. The drywall is stocked, so drywall is the next thing. Once that happens, Dan can show all the mud they got stacked in the uh, main room over there. It's a messy process, and so they're gonna come in, they're gonna put paper down, after they hang the drywall and screw it all in, and then they're gonna mud and tape it, and it's gonna be kind of wet, damp in here. It's gonna look messy. There's gonna be gobs of mud, drywall mud everywhere. Uh, so it's gonna about to get messy over the course of the next week. But once we get through that, then we can start putting in our surfaces, which is gonna be really cool. So we've made a lot of progress. Let's cruise around. You guys can take a look and see what you think. Side, you see the drywall, siders getting ready, to start siding, trimming out all the windows. We've made quite a bit of progress. By the time we come back next time, hopefully the whole house is sided and it'll look pretty cool. All the drywall should be done and uh, we'll make some more progress. So we're on our way. We're trying to finish by September, hopefully. Got my fingers crossed. We're banging away, trying to get it done. See you guys on the next one. 